Hello and welcome to our Trains Route Building tutorial series. In this series, I will be using Trains Railroad Simulator 2019, also known as TRS-19, but most of the things will also apply to other Trains versions. In this first video, I will cover how to create a new route, so creating the actual asset, and then making backups of that route. First, click on Driver slash Surveyor. Then, to create a new route, click on Create Route in the bottom right of the screen. Now, an important thing to understand is that in Trains, a map is comprised of two different assets. One is the route, which contains all of the scenery, so your trees and terrain and tracks and roads and buildings and stations and all of that. And the other are sessions. Sessions contain all of the gameplay on the route. So this is trains and what the trains do and weather and time of day and that sort of thing. A route can have multiple sessions. So for example, you could have one session where the player does yard work and a different session where the player takes the express down the main line. Whenever you create a new route in trains, trains will always create a default session. This is so that you can actually test drive trains on the route, because even though you can place trains on the route, you need to have a session to actually be able to drive them. So, let's get started. Route name. For the purposes of this tutorial series, I will be calling the route Tutorial Creek Railroad. Yeah, it's a lovely place. Now session name. This is the name for the default session and what I generally do when I create a new route is I give it the same name as the route with default at the end to differentiate the two which makes it easier to find it when making backups. Next is geographical region. This is in which country the route is set. There's a drop down here, you can select a country, and what this affects is road traffic. So cars driving on roads, it will change which cars, which assets are used. So for example, cars that appear in United States or in 1950s glory years USA will be different. This also affects which side of the road cars drive on. For the purposes of this series, I will be using the United States. Next is working scale. This is useful if you want to make a model railway. So there's a drop down here and you can select a model railway gauge. What this does is it changes the, the length of units of measurement instead of the actual size of models. For this series, I will be sticking with real scale. Lastly, working units, metric or imperial. I usually stick with the one that corresponds to the region I'm using. So in the United States, they're using miles and feet, so they're using the imperial system. Now, if you click the check mark, you will confirm these settings, but you won't actually have saved the route yet. Now we are in the surveyor. This is where you will create the route and make all of the sessions, but we'll get to that in a later video. For now, we need to save the route. Do this by pressing Ctrl S. Save the route. Now, let's make a backup. To make a backup, you will need to use Trains' content manager. To do this, close Trains and then click on Manage Content in the Launcher. In this window, you will now see all of the assets that are currently installed in Trains. So this, uh, these are all the built-in assets, assets that you've maybe downloaded from the download station, and all of your own things as well. We need to find the two assets we've just created, the route and the session. To do this, click on Installed up here, then click on My Content. This will show all of the content you've created. 
If you're a new user to trains, this will only show the two assets you've just created. If you've created more things in the past, they will obviously also appear here. Find the two assets you've just created, in my case, Tutorial Creek Railroad, the route, and Tutorial Creek Railroad, default. Select both of these, right click, and select Export to CDP. CDP files are basically like zip files, only they contain trains assets. Give this the name of the route. Now you've created a backup. Now let's see how to retrieve this backup. First, delete the two assets in trains. Right click, delete. Now this action cannot be undone, so be careful. Then go back to Finder or Windows Explorer if you're on Windows, and just drag the CDP file back into the Content Manager window to re-import the root. There they are. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful.